I have several important updates for the Assembly on the wildfire situation. But first, I must again express our gratitude to the people working on the ground in difficult and dangerous conditions to protect Albertans. Today, there are 17 wildfires burning in our province, including five new starts. Four are out of control, one is being held, 11 are under control, and one has been turned over to local authorities. We have over 1,950 firefighters and support staff on the ground today, supported by 208 helicopters, 412 pieces of heavy equipment, and 29 air tankers. Fire risk remains extreme across much of Alberta. The fire in the MD of Greenview has grown a small amount from 800 to 900 hectares, which is substantially less growth than expected, which is great news. The mandatory evacuation order was lifted from the hamlet of Little Smoky, although residents remain under evacuation notice. We have 75 firefighters and three helicopters fighting that fire. Uh, the Fort McMurray fire is now close to 355,000 hectares and is still out of control. Conditions remain extreme and we expect another very challenging day for firefighters and emergency responders. Yesterday, the fire rapidly burned north, prompting mandatory and precautionary evacuations for more than a dozen energy camps and facilities. Approximately 8,000 people were safely evacuated. These camps and facilities are at risk, however, no assets have been damaged. Highway 63 has been restricted north of Fort McMurray as the fire advances eastward. Within the city, structural firefighters responded to a fire, uh, a fire in the Thickwood neighbourhood and to an explosion in Dickensfield. Uh, the cause of both are still under investigation. Uh, both incidents damaged several homes, but those fires were quickly put out thanks to the structural firefighters uh, ready and on the scene. Much of the re-entry work has also been delayed uh, due, to, due to the uh, continued threat of the fire as well as the extreme air quality conditions. Fort McMurray is not yet safe to return to, but we continue to make every possible effort uh, to keep Albertans safe, to protect their homes and businesses, and to bring them back to their communities as soon as is safely possible. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.